topic pediatrics and today I'm going to talk briefly about the congenital hypothyroidism congenital hypo thyroidism okay so here I'm going to talk very briefly you know hypothyroidism okay it's a decreased production of thyroid hormones okay or either the hormone is level is normal but there is a defect in the receptor activity okay so congenital hypothyroidism what you have to remember for your USMLE or for MRCPCH or any other pediatric board medical examination the signs and symptoms because in your examination usually they will give the history they will give the clinical features of this patient with a neonate with um, congenital hypothyroidism and you have to diagnose the disease okay rather than the treatment you have to diagnose the disease okay so let's talk about the etiology it's a hereditary remember it's a hereditary it's a hereditary and one another one cause could be the prenatal exposure to radio iodine radio iodine radio iodine or antithyroid medications if mother is taking antithyroid medications like for hyperthyroidism early antithyroid medication okay so these are the most common causes most common is the hereditary okay and the prenatal exposure to either either radio iodine or if the mother is taking antithyroid medications during her pregnancy Okay, let's talk about the signs and symptoms. This is a really very important signs and symptoms. Remember the most cases of congenital hyper, uh, hypothyroidism, they're asymptomatic at birth. It doesn't mean that every time they should present with this. So most of the cases asymptomatic. So you have to rule it and you have to, you have to take some time to diagnose this. Symptomatic at birth. So what are the other features? Remember, they will have a prolonged jaundice. Okay, front line is wide, very important. Front line is wide, wide front line, especially the what you call posterior, and even anterior also. Micro macroglossia macroglossia this is the last tongue okay and the patients will have very important for examination is umbilical hernia umbilical hernia hypotonia decreased tone okay abdominal distension abdominal distension goiter okay and if the patient is not treated if it's not diagnosed and not treated then the patient can develop the baby can develop mental retardation in future that's why we have to treat it okay and a patient can have a hoarse cry okay and the patient can have a constipation okay and remember there, there, there will be what you call a slow developmental delay will be there and the patient will have a, what you call late teeth milestones will be slow okay and the whatever overall look of the baby will be below third percentile means the baby looks small okay so how do you diagnose this disease is very simple measure the tsh and the t4 newborn screening the tsh and the t4 tsh and t4 okay so how do you treat it very simple levothyroxine okay levothyroxine is a treatment for this so guys, so thank you so much for watching this video. Take care.